All right, welcome back. 2019 now just days away. So, of course, that means New Year's resolutions. And joining me now is Galit Ventura Rosen. She's the author of The Successful Woman's Mindset. Good morning, Galit. Good morning. Yeah, so everybody always, uh, you know, beginning of the year, they make those resolutions. Yes. They don't They don't always stick, though, right? Maybe, uh, Most you know, of the you, time see, they don't. you see the gym packed the first month and then it kind of clears out maybe in February. But, um, you're trying to get people to sort of stay focused, right? Yes, we have these ideas in our head and we want to accomplish them so badly and then we don't make a plan. So one of the things that I love to do is come on and talk to you about how others can be successful in actually accomplishing their New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I love to do is a vision board. You might hear that all over the place, but you hear it so much because it's successful. When you put something together about what you want to accomplish for the year, now what happens is you're looking at it every Every day and it's reminding you what you should be focusing on and working on. And we have heard a lot about it. I know uh, even our anchor Mas Saidi always talks about her vision Absolutely. board and everything like that. But people don't know what that is. Basically, just a board with you cut out pictures of things that that are your goals or that that you want. Basically, yes. And today with technology, you can go ahead and download an app on your phone and put together the collage and save it on your phone. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't even have to be printed out anymore. Or even Pinterest, you can kind of yes. pick and choose things that it is. And is it is it just goals or is it your things that you put want? Put on there anything that you want to accomplish in 2019 so for me I've got travel I've got fitness I've got financial I've got family time and I even write out quotes put on my goals in writing as well as pictures so find whatever combination works for you and, and like we were just saying, you know, it's one thing to visualize, but how do you kind of stick to it? I mean, do you, you just kind of set milestones along the way? You've got to have a plan. It's great to have this board that you want to accomplish, but if you don't have a plan, so you want to think that a lot of times people get overwhelmed by this big picture. Break it down into small, itsy-bitsy steps, as tiny as you can, and put that in your calendar so you can accomplish those steps. Mm -hmm. And you're saying every every month at this uh, maybe make a thing in the calendar to kind of check up on it. And yes. So most of us live through calendars on our phone. Google calendars my life. Whatever it says, I do. Make sure on the first of every month you plan an appointment with yourself to revisit what you accomplished the month before. And is that getting you closer to the goals that you want to accomplish? And so you said you had a vision board for 2018. Looking back now, I mean, what, what were some of the biggest things you accomplished that you set out this year? One of my biggest goals was visiting a new city in the, in the United States every three months, and I did that. One of them was speaking on stage at least a minimum of three to six times. I did that. One of them was writing a book. So I just keep putting out these goals, and I make sure that I don't just set up a plan and put it in my calendar like task-wise, but you also have to remember to reward yourself. One of the things we're really bad at is looking at how far we've come. We're always focused on how far we still have to go. Mm -hmm. Travel's definitely on my list for 2019, yes. so I'll have to make a vision board myself. Yeah. All right. Well, happy New Year, Galit. Happy some New some Year. good advice there. Thank you for um, having yeah, me. absolutely. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back after the break. Stay with us.